Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World and we're releasing a new discussion topic or segment I should say um, reintroducing to my show. Okay we're going to be talking about trending topics on social media. What is all the buzz about? Okay we know well, in this day, excuse me, in this day and age, we get to the point where we get all our entertainment news, top news, breaking news from social media. It's few and far between. We have a chance to sit at home and actually read a newspaper, AJC for Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia Constitution. We don't even get those things delivered anymore. I think that had, that lost its attraction maybe 10, 15 years ago. Um, and you get it from magazines, you know, Essence, Jet, uh, OK Magazine. Can't really think of any more. Just lost my concentration I'm trying to think of some magazines out there at the grocery store when you're checking out uh, with your groceries and stuff. And they just have all those goodies out there right in front of you to make that last type of decision of what you want to eat, what you want to get a hold to hope to for the latest trending lipstick or chapstick bomb or you need some more batteries or some lotion or some hand sanitizer, all this stuff, chips, soda, candy, it's at the checkout station when you're uh you know trying to check out your groceries and stuff and then you just get, you know, with the impatientness we have today, we just start looking like, oh I need that, I need that. And so we continue to shop. And that's a marketing ploy and it's very attractive and catchy. It does its job, truly. Okay, but that's not what we came here to talk about. We came to get into what social media has broke out, the trending topics for today, June 28, 2019. And I'm here to tell you, they are back on the Jackson family. <laughs> I don't know why, but I guess when you have to search low and high, you sit and have all these paparazzis, Following day in and day out, 24 7 round the clock on these top notch celebrities to put out that next big story. You just have to go with the flow. Okay? So it ain't it ain't something I'm making up. It's just something that's out there. And when a person don't debunk it or whatever, they either have real class about themselves and they don't have time to be defending their life story because they know when they signed up, well, some of them kind of get amnesia and feel like they still should have a personal life when they step out into uh, the real world with the rest of us, you know, who dwell in there going about their daily lives, okay? But you know how people get starstruck or they be like, oh, I've been watching this person on television or, and watching their show or some form of entertainment that this person that they uh, really like, uh, they have a chance to see them in real life, in person, you know, just like they meet any and everybody on the street, but they don't have any significance to them other than just being another human being. Uh, they go crazy. They be like, oh, no, Ooh, what, what, you know, and all that. And they want to get close to them. And some of them kind of get hysterical and lose their mind and probably scare the celebrity that they're trying to approach that they admire. So I get it. I get it. But when you get into this arena, it's not like nobody haven't uh, fallen short of uh, fame and fortune or they've been at the top, uh, started at meager beginnings and, you know, at the top now. And sometimes they forget where they came from and just then a third or don't want to recognize where they came from. They just want to be solidified and want people to know them where they are now. You know what I'm saying? But everybody have a story, good or bad. It's your story. Live it and um, capitalize it on it if you can. Uh <coughs> And so when these people come out here and they hit it to the fame and fortune that they have always dreamed about having, they get depressed and say, well, you know, I want my old life back too. You know, I want to be able to go out in public and keep people away from me because I'm in not that kind of mood today. I don't want to be socializing. I don't want to be, uh, you know, taking pictures with everybody that I don't know could, no, should, no, whatever. I just don't want to be bothered. Well, you know, sorry, when you sign up for the entertainment industry, any parts of film, um, music, act, well, not acting, but uh, what do you call it? Art, you know, artist or whatnot, painting, you step into an arena where you're in a fishbowl. You're being 
explored, like under a microscope, and people do not, and it's bad to say, they don't care if you're out there with your family. They don't care if you feel like you need downtime. That's when you have to go in disguise and, and play some other person and look like some other person to be able to function in society. That's the pitfalls of becoming rich and famous and popular and all the stuff you say you wanted until you got it and you see how lonely and depressing it can be. Okay? But to drop all that, because I just had to say that, it was on my mind, it was on my opinion, or in my opinion, we're going to talk about Janet Jackson. They are getting on her, trying to belittle her, trying to say she shouldn't do this, that, and the third, whatever. They're talking about plastic surgery she may or may not have had. I don't know. I ain't heard her say anything about it personally. You get here and there comments saying, oh, y'all don't think she really had done was a nose job, dee dee da da whatever. <clears throat> but I've watched her in the media, social media, where it just focuses on her weight gain. When It seems like when she's unhappy or she's on a break, she gets back to eating foods that are just not good for her. She probably take that out of her mother's side or her father's side. I don't know which one because we never really get to see cousins, aunts, or uncles, you know, that type of thing. You just saw the immediate Jensen family. Uh, and that's pretty much what they gave us. We were privy to. So I don't know where the fat gene lies. Is it on the mother's side or it's on the father's side? But... She does have a, a extremely hard time with controlling her weight, like most Americans, such as myself. <laughs> I stayed thin from birth to probably after I got out of high school, had my first child, and then my weight just started going up and down, up and down, up and down. But see, the difference between me and Janet Jackson, she has money. She can do whatever she wants to do. If she feel bad about how she looks, whether it's in her facial features, whether it's in her breasts, her butt, her thighs, <coughs> and she feels like she's surgically, surgically, surgical, wait a minute, yeah, that's right, surgically capable after conversing with her doctors and stuff, uh, able to go under the knife and get some reconstructive surgery done, then so be it, be do you, you know what I'm saying, because if I had the money and I didn't have to put it towards anything else <coughs> of importance, I definitely would get a breast reduction. I would get my stomach uh, tucked in, back nice and flat. Uh, or it could be like a little pooch of a little pouch. You know, give me that authentic look. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to be a flat washboard. Because I don't like exercising. I ain't going to lie. Even when I was thin, I hated exercising. All right. But it just is what it is. And I would get my thighs trimmed down. And let me see what else I would do. That's probably it. And i probably get my elbows um lighten up a little bit because they so dark. I don't know why on black people the elbows are just dark all the time. And I would decals. Yeah, I would get that lighten up too. But those are the things that I would fix if I had the money. It's not vanity or anything like that. It's just more so those things bothered you probably when you were a child growing up through puberty and all that thing. And you have the money to change to do it. But on the flip side when you're in the entertainment business they expect for you to be flawless from head to toe. Okay, they want you to be um, someone to be looked at and God, well, we're not God, uh, I don't know what I was trying to say there, but they, they want people to admire you and want to strive to be like you in physical form as well as talented form. You know what I'm saying? That's just how the world, or not the world, but society, the individuals that pick and choose what's beautiful, what's not beautiful. <clears throat> and that tends to be the hand that rocks the cradle. But to me, in the eyes of the beholder, the creator, is what's beautiful. And if he makes you how you are, that's just it. He, You know, beauty is in the eye of the, of the beholder. And we can't question that. We Individually, we can question on ourselves. You know, if we, like I said, you got the money to change, change if you feel so bad about it or it depresses you or you can't live a daily life without making that change, then please go ahead and do it. If the physician say you can do it, you, you medically clear, go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? But if you're up in age and you're trying to do surgery to correct this, that, that, and I'm just saying if you're in your 60s, 70s, or 80s, do it with caution. Do it with strict caution because, you know, any surgery, how minor or how in-depth, 
is a life and death situation. You know, they put you on anesthesia. You may not come out of that anesthesia. Something might go wrong in surgery. Can't control the blood flow. This, that, and the thought. You know, anything can happen. So be cautious. Do your due diligence and just ask yourself, is it something you want? Okay. And then let the chips fall where they may. But getting back to this Janet Jackson story. Yes, honey. They trying to say Janet has altered some things on her body. Now, from one source, they pretty much says that she had said that um, she had some nose work done. But that pretty much was it. You know what I'm saying? She, she ain't copping up to anything else. And so she should. You know what I'm saying? You're all up in her business. She's going to give you some tea, but not all the tea. And <laughs> what Radar Online is promoting or is saying in their article that they wrote on their uh, site, they're saying the title, facelift, nose jobs, fillers, Botox, Janet Jackson, drastic plastic surgery makeover reveal. This was dropped on today, the 28th at 4.50 p.m. I don't know what time zone that was in, but I'm in Easter Standard Time Zone, and, and we're going to talk about it, okay? And like I said, if you got money, yay! Who's who to tell you what to do with your money, your body, your life, okay? Only the creator can tell you that. And he can tell you the destination of when your life is going to come to an end as well, okay? So when we do things like this, sometimes we tempt, tempt fate in a sense. We weren't supposed to go out, it, out in this time, but depending on what you did to yourself in that situation would cause you more harm and you just going out the world. It may not have been your time to go, but it's just here what it is. You know what I'm saying? And then you have other celebrities such as Janet Jackson. You have people like Lil' Kim, Suzanne Somers, Jennifer Anderson. You know, it's not a white black thing. It's not an Asian or Indian thing. It's uh, And it's not a culture thing. It's just if you got the money to do it thing. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> Asians trying to look European. Caucasians trying to look uh, black, African American, African Americans or black, how you defend, uh, define yourself? Uh, they trying to look European. You know, most, not all, but most black people want to have the straight hair, color it in any kind of way, mostly blonde. Some can capture it real well and look good, and some just need to take it off, all okay? right? And they want the uh, tone, flat kind of. You know, but but not so big. But the trend is now in my daughter's generation and her the generation after her, big butts and slim waist silhouette silhouette waist are in. And I, I I'm just not understanding because we talking about back problems, okay? Inflating your breast to a size double, triple D or whatever G H I I don't know. It's gonna cause some health problems, people. Your back. You ain't thinking about your back. And your waist, all that weight is going to affect. Then you want the big shot of butt injections going up and down. You want that. And like I said, <laughs> white people, they want the um, full of lips, the big lips. And they want some more booty back there as well. And, you know, they have always had that with Dolly Parton catching a big breast syndrome, which I've never understood why people want to get them big old gazookas. When it is going to have, you're going to have back problems. I mean, talk to some people that are naturally big up there in the breast area. They will tell you that you get these little indentions in your shoulder, uh, uh, what do you call it, your shoulders. With it, It's like a, a strap has been laid there too long. That's because of the weight is pressing down. You can't keep these big jugs up there like that. I'm just saying, because I have myself and it's just too much. Now, you know, you got the belly done ran over type syndrome. You know, them became not a muffin top no more, but a full blown watermelon. You know what I'm saying? I understand you want to get that tucked in and stuff, but you know, you have to think about age as well. You know, if you already in your 60s and 70s and, and you talking about you want to do all this major work, sit yourself down. Okay, they either love you by now or they don't. Okay, it just is what it is. Take a picture from Aretha Franklin. She was fat sometimes and she was skinny but most of her life she was fat okay and she didn't give a crap it was breast hanging everywhere out whatever stomach rolling over and i'm like but that riri could sign <laughs> you know what i'm saying that was her claim to fame she wasn't no, trying to be no model up there or none of that she was just giving us 
music, okay? And that's what I can identify with. I didn't care how she looked. I mean, when she came out with these ball gowns all the time, I was like, where is she think she going, Lord? But, you know, I need no, uh, we call it, no support for her breasts. I don't know what we were doing at that time, but Riri said she doing her. And I, hey, who am I? Who am I to judge? Okay, but getting back on this Janet Jackson story, uh, we're gonna go on back and we're gonna read some of the little articles that they wrote up on her, and um, they're calling her the Plastic Princess. It says three of the nation's leading plastic surgeons revealed exclusively to Radar Online Janet Jackson has likely had a facelift. I lid lift, multiple nose jobs, fillers, Botox, and more after the singer shocked fans with a freaking new face this week. I don't know what face she's giving them. Maybe it's her show in Las Vegas. She has to continue <laughs> to uh, reinvent her shows and whatnot. Go outside if you're going. Oh, I tell you, that my daughter is these dogs up in here getting on, oh, getting on my nerves. But anyway, this is what they're saying. And of course, you know, ain't nobody really sat down and had an exclusive with <laughs> Janet Jackson. These are only their opinions and their observations. I told you, everybody got one and they put them out there. So I'm just giving it to you in my opinion. I don't think they should be talking about it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. If the girl want to do what she want to do, let her do her. <laughs> Excuse me, because she got the money and she got the exposure. Uh, to pay for it. All right, still look nice. Nice than some of these folks that got money and still looking a hot mess. Okay, but then that might be their choice. They want to look a hot mess. All right, and they can do it. All right. So it goes back to the article. The unbreakable hit maker stepped out looking unrecognizable for the 10 year anniversary of the death of her legendary brother, Michael Jackson. But it seems that the 53 year old, who is a music legend in her own respect, has taken a cue from her late brother when it comes to plastic surgery. After reviewing a series of fo photos of Janet, Dr. Dennis Schimpfe of Sweetgrass Plastic Surgery in South Carolina, who has not treated her or told Radar, the most striking differences that I see initially are with Janet Jackson's nose and eyes. Most recently, I would say that her face has changed dramatically, and I believe that she has had eyelid surgery, otherwise known as uh, blepharoplasty, I mean, blepharoplasty, as well as an eyebrow lift. Janet Nose also appears to have undergo, undergone a significant transformation. Ooh. And she has a much smaller nose now as the result of rhinoplasty. In addition, as part of her nose job, her nasal opening has been reduced or made smaller, Dr. Shrimp, Shrimp told Radar. His last name is spelled S-C-H-I-M-P-F. And for the rest of this article, we're going to let him be known as Dr. S. Okay? Ain't no sense of messing up the man's name. Ain't no sense of messing up his name. Jennifer face has become more defined with more prominent cheeks as well as lips most likely due to fillers and cheek implants. She appears to have also used fillers in her lips, nasal, labia, folds, and her marinette lines. The skin of her face is smooth and tight, especially in comparison to her neck. I believe she has had a traditional facelift. Now, I'm going to disagree with the doctor. Now, her black don't crack, honey. We can age gracefully, all right, with no miracle medicines or treatments. All right, huh? <laughs> Black, don't crack. Anyway, moving on from there, getting back to the article, it says it appears that she has little to no lines of expression around her eyes <coughs> or her forehead due to the use of Botox, Dr. S added. Okay, and then they give you photos of her uh, with the cat eye look. And Dr. Uh, Tim Slade, this is another uh, doctor giving his opinion, expert opinion on what could be happening in the transformation of Janet's looks. Okay. A double board certified plastic surgeon in Newport Beach, California has not treated Jackson. However, he agreed with Dr. S opinions in regards to pop star eyes. Okay. Then it goes on to say, Dr. Said is also saying Janet may have had brow lift as well as eyelid surgery. Okay. He's still going on saying she may have a filler up. 
In addition, Janet appears to have an ample amount of fillers in her face. Looking at these photos, Janet seems to have added fillers to the apples of her cheeks. She also seems to have had a lot of Botox as well as possible laser skin resurfacing. This is what Dr. Say said, okay? Said or S-A-Y-E-D, said, whatever. Uh, then we got another doctor jumping in the uh, mix, Dr. Um, Anthony Young. He's saying, fill her up again. She's been using fillers. America's, America's holistic beauty doctor, Young, has also not worked on Janet. However, he agreed with his colleagues and told Radar, Janet appears to have, to have had a large amount of filler injection into her cheeks, making them look quite full and plump. Oh, now we get to the nose job. Dr. Young uh, chimes in also and say Janet has also appears to have had uh, undergone another rhinoplasty resulting in more splayed nostrils. Okay. And then Dr. Young is also saying she don't went overboard with the Botox. He says, I also suspect that Janet has had a good amount of Botox injected into her face, especially into her forehead and smile lines. All right. <laughs> Dr. Young goes on and say tighter than ever. Lastly, I would guess that Janet has also had a facelift. This could be why her jawline looks so tight and clean for a woman her age. Dr. Young added, now Janet ain't never 52 years, well, 53 years, what is she, 53 I mean, I'm 51, so yeah, she about 53. Cause I know she got two years ahead of me. But I'm like, see, that's what I'm saying. People get mad at us as YouTuber creators going on spreading news. But you got doctors out here, renowned physicians that practice different specialties out here talking about somebody they ain't never treated. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, Somebody brought pictures to them on Janet Jackson and said, analyze this for us so we can break this story to see if she will break out and come and talk about uh, uh, possible allegedly surgeries other than her nose job that she's readily already admitted to the world that she's had. So, and then I'm sure they had to pay. <laughs> I'm sure they had to pay for it too for their expert witness opinion. Okay. But my dear like that, just like the doctors who are sitting there practicing all of these plastic surgeries, rejuvenation type techniques on human beings that have the money to do this, that's keeping them in business and making them very lucrative. They need to sit and fall back and stop giving a two cents in where it ain't needed. Okay. She's coming to people such as yourself, not you, Bob, because y'all don't put her on blast. But the ones that she has hired that love to keep that low-key type of situation of notoriety so she can give referrals out to the rest of her celebrity friends. Okay, everybody ain't got to be in the spotlight, but they could be living high on the hall, as my mama used to say. <laughs> high on the hall because you getting paid, all right? And you probably get other benefits like concert tickets or, you know, free talk sessions or whatever. You just never know. When you blurt out everything and you put people on the spotlight in the negative, that's when all hell breaks loose, okay? And then you don't know who to trust and they don't trust you because you're out there in social media and you're going to tell all their secrets. You see what I'm saying? So my dear list, Janet is no different from any normal person that has the money to make herself look better if indeed she's doing it for herself. And she's doing it because her agents and publishers are telling her you need to look this way you need a little bad way that then you're doing it for the wrong reason okay but if you're doing it because you want to enjoy how you look and this that and the third you got the money to do you boo do you so i'm on your side keep doing whatever you want to do okay to make yourself feel happy but at the end of the day beauty is in the behind uh, beauty is in the hands of the beholder okay and if he thought and created you that you, you were beautiful, then you should be accepting of that. But I know we're all human. We look in the mirror and we see certain things we need to change or want to change. But just don't go overboard. Overboard with surgery where you become unrecognizable. That's all I'm saying. 
I mean, because a lot of people that have had surgery, I'd be like, why? What? What? Did, why? You know what I'm saying? I see little spots here and there that you might want to lighten up or just because you just want them, it's dark. And, you know, it might be past scars that you had when you was a child growing up. You know, when they um, cure over or start to heal over, they do leave um, pretty bad scars or whatnot. So I can see you want to get rid of those or lighten up. Like I said, if I had the money, I would lighten up my elbows and my kneecaps. But they so black. They don't match my complexion. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the blood ain't circulating down there. I don't know. Okay. But um, sometimes we can be a little vain and, and we want to change everything that looks, you know, we don't feel a little right on us to where we can't change it no more. We done done so many surgeries like, you know, Michael, her brother. Now, I, will, I admit that he was, I like it with him when he was remember the time, that video, he was sharp. He, I mean, He's always been a thin man, but I mean, that look right there, he didn't have to mess with his face no more because he was like, you know, he was lighter. He can say he had vitiligo, which was, you know, a pairing of the skin where it starts to turn, you know, whiter than what your skin color is. I'm let him go with it because it is something out there like that. That's his story. He's sticking to it. So, I, hey, I'm giving it to him. I, I believe it. Okay. But when he just started going on and on, and he just started looking unrecognizable, I was done then. I mean, because all of the Jacksons were very pretty people, you know, very pretty individuals. Uh, the Lord did that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He made them some beautiful individuals. But as fame got to them, fortune, they started looking at themselves different or started letting people put words in their ears, and they started forming a different opinion of themselves, and they just felt you know, like most people that got money fall to, or even the ones that don't have money, but they save up their monies to go and have these different surgeries because they're so unhappy. I understood. Very much so understood. So, it just is what it is. But that was the trending topic, or one of the trending topics that I'm going to be talking about uh, today, which is Friday. You remember I told you I was going to be taping a lot Friday, Saturday, and Sunday so y'all can get enough of me, okay? Because I've I, 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 I uh, uh, supposed to be working through Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday. I don't work that hard on Friday, but I'm being tuned to what really matters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's my food, clothing, shelter, and, and anything else that comes with it for my daily living. All right, I gotta stay focused on that. But um, thank y'all for coming to Deb Chanel's Four Days World. I hope you enjoyed my hot topic discussion and my opinion that's trending on social media today. Okay, talk to you soon for something. Bye-bye.